CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a single IP camera or multiple IP cameras to the PC software. Here I have the PC software already installed on my computer, and I have the config tool software installed on my computer. So the config tool software is going to be useful in finding the IP address for your camera if you're unsure what its IP address is, or if the IP address on the label on the top of your camera's box is not working. So we do have a full article called how to find your IP camera on a network that has the link to download the config tool and then more information about using the config tool. In this video, I'm just going to click the refresh button and find that I have a camera on the default IP address of 192.168.1.109. This is usually the default IP address that we send cameras to. If we don't send it set to 109, then we've usually reached out and asked for an IP address from the customer for their network in order to make it as easy as possible to access and add the camera to the software or mobile app. So again, I'm going to use the default 192.168.1.109 when adding the device to the PC software. You could also use the auto search function inside of the PC software, and I'll show you how that works. You would need to just change your device segment to 192.168.1 or whatever your segment is for your camera and then click the search button. Here I can see the list of devices from my network that are compatible with the software and then I could check the 109 camera, click the add button. It's going to ask me if I'm sure if I want to add this device. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to type in the username and password and then click OK. We see that it added the device in the background here and I can cancel out of this menu and it was successfully able to find that camera using the IP address and logged in using the username and password. So that's the auto search function. The second way to add a camera or multiple cameras to the software is to manually add it clicking the add button. So you click add and then you need to manually enter, enter in the information for the camera. So I'm going to name it office cam. And then I'm going to type in my IP address for my camera. And I'm going to type in the username and then type in the password. The user credentials for your camera will also be found on the label on the top of the box, or it may just be the default credentials. So I've entered in the name, I entered in the IP address. You can leave the port number as the same, enter in admin as the user and then enter in the password for your camera, whether you've changed it or if it's the same as the password on the label on the camera's box. So finally, I'm going to click the add button. And as long as I entered in the IP address correctly, the username and password correctly, then I will get an online status. If you get an offline status, what you can do is expand this column by clicking and dragging it, and then it'll give you the reason. So if it says offline host not found or something like that, that means that you've incorrectly entered in the IP address or the IP address that the camera is set to is not compatible with your network. Or if it says invalid username and password, then you know you just typoed it, in which case you would click the edit icon over here it's called modify. And then you could change the password as you see fit. And I'll set the incorrect password just to show you an example. See, it says invalid username or password. So I can expand that to see that. And then I can come back here click the edit icon delete that character that I added and then click the save button again and then I get an online status right away. Then if I wanted to view the camera, I would just click the plus icon, go to live view and then I could either double click this camera or drag it into one of the quadrants. Hopefully this video helps you add your IP camera or cameras to the PC software. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.